Wilpatu National Park is a park located on the island of Sri Lanka. The unique feature of this park is the existence of Wilyus natural lakes natural, sand-rimmed water basins or depressions that fill with rainwater. Located in the northwest coast lowland dry zone of Sri Lanka. The park is located 30 km west Anuradhapura and located 26 km north of Puttalam approximately 180 km north of Colombo. The park is 1317 square kilometers, 131, 693 hectares and ranges from 0 to 152 meters above sea level. Nearly 60 lakes, will you, and tanks are found spread throughout Wilpatu. Wilpatu is the largest and one of the oldest national parks in Sri Lanka. Wilpatu is among the top national parks world renowned for its leopard, Panthera pardus cotia population. A remote camera survey was conducted in Wilpatu from July to October 2015 by the Wilderness and Wildlife Conservation Trust. A sample of 49 individual leopards were photo captured in the surveyed area and the core area density was between that of Yala National Park's Block I and Horton Plains National Park. From December 1988 to March 16, 2003, the park was closed due to security concerns surrounding the Sri Lankan Civil War, before being reopened to visitors 16 years later. Visitor access is currently limited to approximately 25% of the park, the remainder of which is dense forest or scrub. Popular visiting period spans between the months of February and October, although there are a number of private eco-tourism groups that conduct safaris year-round. History The Mahavansa records that in 543 BC Prince Vijaya landed at Tambapani now known as Kudramalai Point, Horse Point married Kaweni and founded the Sinhala nation. In 1905 the area was designated a sanctuary and in 1938 it was upgraded to the national park status. Kudramalai, or Horse Point, was visited by a subject of Emperor Claudius in 47 AD, who was blown off course by the monsoon. The local king later sent his own envoys to Rome during the time of Pliny. Topic. Climate. The annual rainfall is about 1,000 mm and the annual temperature is about 27.2 degrees. Intermonsoonal rains in March and the northeast monsoon December to February are the main sources of rainfall. <laughs> Flora and fauna There are many types of vegetation to be found in Wilpatu, including littoral vegetation, such as salt grass and low scrub monsoon forest with tall emergence, such as palu and satin sweetenia, mila vitex altissima, wira sepiaria, ebony ebonum, and wewarna 31 species of mammals have been identified within Wilpatu National Park. Mammals that are identified as threatened species living within the Wilpatu National Park are the elephant Elephus maximus maximus, sloth bear Melursus ursinus inornatus, leopard Panthera pardus cotia, and water buffalo Bubulus bubulus, sambor Rusa unicolor unicolor, spotted deer Axis axis salinensis, mongoose, mouse and shrew are more of Wilpatu's residents. Topic: <laughs> Birds. The painted stork, the open bill, little cormorant, Sri Lankan jungle fowl Gallus Lafayette, along with many species of owls, terns, gulls, eagles, kites buzzards are to be found at Wilpatu National Park. Wetland bird species that can be seen in Wilpatu are the gargany Anas curcedula, pintail Anas acuta, whistling teal Dendrocygna javanica, spoonbill Platalea leucorodia, black-headed ibis Threscornis melanocephalus, large white egret Agretta alba modesta, cattle egret Bubulcus ibis and purple heron Ardea purpurea. Topic: <laughs> Reptiles. 
The most common reptiles found in the park are the monitor lizard Varanus bengalensis, mugger crocodile Crocodilus palustris, common cobra Naya Naya, rat snake Tyas mucosus, Indian python Python malorus, pond turtle Melanoncellis trioga, and the soft-shelled turtle Lysimis punctata, which are resident in the large permanent villas. Topic: <laughs> Deforestation. After the end of the Civil War, allegations had been made that parts of the reserve has been occupied to build houses by certain politicians in an attempt to colonize minority Muslims in the area. Commerce and Trade Minister Rashad Bathiadine contends that it was the people who had been forcibly driven away by the LTTE in 1990 in accordance to their ethnic cleansing policy who had returned to their original villages. Further to this the park was extended to the current size in 1999 after the ethnic cleansing where the old villages were marked as part of the park as claimed by the people in this area. Aerial images taken recently does show that a considerable portion of the forest has been opened up and a large number of small houses being built in the area. Gallery Photographs of animals taken within the National Park <inaudible> Birds Reptiles Terrestrial animals <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>